Well, I have supposed to crack. My name is RG Runner, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my let's play of Gone Home. Right, first question is first, where have I been for the past three months? Easy answer, playing Dead by Daylight, non-stop. Well, almost non-stop. Don't look into my hours, they are something insane, they are something disgusting. Trust me, you don't want to know how long I've played that game for. Either way, that's <laughs> basically why I have been inactive for quite some time either way uh, I have to finish off a few series I have to finish off Uncharted I have to finish off The Last of Us Part 2 I already have one of the last parts in the works it, it has been for a while but I've just abandoned it all the files are in one place I just have to finish editing it and rendering it either way we're talking about Gone Home today uh, why am I playing such an old game this game came out in 2013 2014 I think no 2013 I'm almost sure it was 2013 uh, I don't know I felt a bit nostalgic it was one of the first let's plays I did going back years ago so what I might try and do is redo a few of my old let's plays but try and do them properly because I wasn't as confident as I am now in doing let's plays uh, also um, this game has a very 2013 gaming YouTube gaming vibe. That's why I really want to come back and play it as well. It's something simple and nostalgic as, as well. Uh, anyway, the premise of this game is, oh, uh, before I get into it, you might see the resume there. I did uh, record a first part to this, but I wasn't happy with the way it turned out. So this is basically uh, take two. So hopefully everything goes as planned this time. Either way, Getting right into it, we are a girl, we are backpacking around Europe, or we were backpacking around Europe, we are now coming home, but since that time our parents have moved house into this new house right here that you can see on the screen, and basically no one's home for some reason. It's not a murder mystery, it is just finding out what happened, why are your parents missing, What what's going on, Uh Basically, we just have to find out what is going on. It's just a, a simple little indie horror game. <laughs> it's not an indie horror game. It's an indie game, sorry. Either way, let's get right into it. Starting a new game will overwrite existing game progress. Am I sure? Yes, I didn't make much progress, so it's fine. That and the video was a little too long, so there was that too. Hi mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, I just had to turn that down a bit because I want to be able to hear myself talk and think. Okay, so it's set in 19 clickety 5, so it's going to have very 90s vibes. Um, yeah, either way, set in 1995, we've come home and our parents aren't here for some strange reason and we got to figure that out so first things first got to collect the key to the house of course always uh, leave it where somebody can get to it makes it easier for the burglars to break in and whatnot okay just gonna put you back there there you go and we are we are what's our name our name is Caitlin Greenbrier destination Portland flight number 270 June 6 1995 so yeah, it is set in 1995. So that would have made me about one year old then. Go to show you how old I am. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you. But it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out... Trying to find out what the hell happened to my accent. 
Please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mum, dad, anyone to know. We'll see each other... Blah. What the hell? We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. So, so Sam, by the way, is our little sis and it is very dark. And we have automatic lights. That is also very handy. Kind of creepy too as well. So first thing first again, turn on this lamp. Turn on all the lights to make it less creepy. Go through the drawers. I'm going to kind of rush this part because I've already been through it. Uh, read this note. Destination to work from new home. Left on... What? I can't read the writing in the game. I I don't know why the um, developers couldn't have some sort of overlay with uh, text on the screen. Because, you know, not all of us can read cursive. Okay, left on... I'm going to say... That looks like grab tree, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, right on bullhorn exit onto the 47N. Right onto 202E or ZOZE. -E. I'm going to assume 202E. That makes more sense. Uh, entrance on right past Wage Road. Wage Road? Oh, okay. Bit of an odd name. And there's nothing else in here. Okay. So basically, we have to piece together the story of what happened to our sister and the very interesting thing about this is it just doesn't focus on the character we're playing as it doesn't just focus on our sister but rather our background our entire family what what we did to get here what uh, what people we are what what we are going to become and what oh what not it is very deep it is very good what are the few indie games i, I like actually Okay, ball string. Not bad. And here's Mama Greenbrier, Janice Greenbrier, senior conservationist. ID nine seven five zero zero two. Uh, take Elma. What's that? Take Elma. Take Elma. Yeah, take Elma Country Forestry Service. Okay. So our mother dearest is a forester. That's good to know. Okay, grab tissue box. Anything left here? Uh, no. Nothing of relevance. Nothing I can make out. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. And of course, this folder contains the, um, the Wellspring Movers Inc. So basically, um, our moving truck, the moving company that moved all of our crap from one place to another. Dear Katie, so much has changed. Even just since you've been away, we moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Ah, you know, that's nice. Very nice. So as we progress through the game, as we pick up all these key items, we'll add to Sam's journal. So we'll basically unlock parts of the story. So finding key items is key to the game. It's key to the story. It's key to um, enhancing our experience, getting to know the characters and whatnot. Like this magazine, for example. I mean, not all of them will add to the uh, diary, but they'll show us like our our interests, like what, like what we're into. So we've got Arthur magazine, or Ar yeah, Arthur magazine. So s clearly, one of us in the house, or two of us in the house, or s many of us in the house, like reading and writing. That is good. Very good to know. Okay, so we're about done here. This door right here, we can't go through. These things, these are kind of cool. I like this uh, Mexican skull. Is it Mexican skull? Is it? I mean, I, I don't know why I'm saying. Oh, it is a uh, head. Hecho on Mexico. Okay. I thought so. One of my trophies. Oh, okay. So, and as you can see, by zooming in here, we can see first place, 
Regional track and field final on April 21st, 1990, girls 100 meter relay. Jamie Blum, Carly Jones, Sean Rossi, and Caitlin Greenbrier. That's us. And yet again, another trophy for me. Regional track and field 1991, girls hung jump event, Caitlin Greenbrier. So we were a bit of an athlete. Grab book and. Oh, a holy Bible. Very nice. Okay, anything in here? Again, exploration is key. I mean, this game doesn't hold your hand. It wants you to explore. It wants you to find out all these things. These things which we do not know of. So, Boone County. Uh, okay, that's, an, that's another thing. We are in Boone County. Wherever Boone County is, when Boone County is at home. Okay, open drawer. This letter, which I can't read for shit. It's, um, squiggles. It's cursive. Dear Sam, it's good to hear... Oh. I mean, this is probably pertinent, but not too pertinent. I love that word, pertinent, or relevant. But I can't read it. I mean, it's, it's one of those things that will add to the story, but I just can't read this, okay? I mean, I'll, I'll leave it up here for a few seconds. If anyone wants to read it, try and make any sense of it. But what I think that the developers should have done, and I'm surprised that they haven't, is just add that overlay of um, text o over this. Kind of like what we have in um, The Last of Us Part 2. It's nothing, it's nothing new. It's, it's not new Fandangle technology or software that, that wasn't available back then. You could have easily put in a piece of text over this, sort of just blur out the background here so we could read the letter. But I don't think there'd be an option for it here, would there? Uh, gameplay? Wait, enable head bob. Wait, is there head bobbing in this? There is, but you wouldn't really notice it. I mean, it's there, but you can't really notice it, to be honest. Okay, yeah, like I said before, that's locked. So we're basically done down here. I'll explore upstairs later. Oh, wait, there's a few more things here. I forgot. Okay, how long have I been recording? For 14 minutes. God damn. You would think, with the second take of this video, I'd have done this a lot quicker so Katie's uh, departure on the 7th of that's thunder lovely Katie's departure 7th of June 94 flight 881 1210 to Amsterdam okay so she back backed around here did she back back around America as well or what what you didn't, didn't go to Ireland jeez I'd hardly call it backpacking around Europe without a trip to Ireland have you not tasted the Guinness here to you absolute go I mean, then again, uh, Guinness is Guinness is not everybody's cup of tea or um, stout in this case. Okay, we've got another note here. So read note. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is that he had a Nintendo when we were little. Oh, that was kind of mean. Okay, that's fine. Uh, grab phone. Creepy. Anything else in here? No, 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 no. And then we have to listen to a few messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't. Okay, we, we heard that one before. So, I'm guessing this was one of Sam's friends on the phone. And yeah, I know I said at the start of the video I played this game before, but this was like years ago, so I 
remember almost next to nothing about this game. The only thing I remember is there is a shortcut to ending, ending the game. Whether or not it has been patched out, I'm not sure, but I'm not going to do it anyway. I want to fully explore this game. And at the time when I did play this game, I was running a parted version of it, so um, yeah, don't really feel too good about that. But this is a legit copy. I bought it off Steam a few days ago. Again, just wanted to replay it for nostalgia. So we've got Sam. Uh, I'm going to assume that's Sam there because she looks uh, youngish. Then we've got Katie. I assume that's Katie there. And Mom and Dad, Jen and Terry. Okay, nice family. Or are they? Ooh. Okay, now that. Okay, I've been recording for 18 minutes. There or thereabouts. So, got a creepy cabinet or cabinet, um, closet, closet here. Yeah. Okay, read note. Welcome, new student. We hope that you're excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. One line notebook prepared or one notebook with six divide sections. At least six pens, blue or black ink, and six pencils. That's a little overkill. One box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your signed locker. Mm -hmm. Very good to have. I used to have one of those in my uh, secondary school as well. A nutritious lunch or $2.50 for a lunch provided by the school cafeteria and a positive attitude. Notice that is the only one that's not ticked off. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. That's early. See you soon and again, welcome Beth Valance, principal. Okay, so this is obviously for the oh school she God. attended. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. Okay, so she's called the Psycho House Girl by her peers. So, this game is not a horror game, but it tries to pass itself off as one. So, the Psycho House, like, obviously something scary went down here to and look what we have. We have an obituary. Oscar Doc Mason. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County, died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8th, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terence Greenbrier, as well as in spirit, the people of Boone County to whom he provided wellness and comfort. Oh, so... So we're... This... No. Our father... Who is Terrence Green Brother Briar is his nephew. Oh, this is making sense. Uh, so Boone County. Hmm. I'm guessing I'm guessing Oscar owned this home and we inherited this from him. That's what I'm getting. I'm slowly piecing this together. I mean it doesn't say it, but conclusions can be drawn, is what I'm saying. And we've got a photo. Ooh, who's this? Deseto. You know what? She actually looks one of my, she looks like one of my friends on Facebook. Okay. And she is in a military uniform. An army girl. Nice. I do like women who can kick my ass. Okay, uh, I'm going to be recording for about 
a little over 20 minutes so I'll keep going um, I hear something in here it sounds kind of creepy okay just a TV with a weather warning okay might leave that on oh I don't like long hallways wait is there going to be a ghost in this house now? I hope not. I hope not. Please don't let there be any ghosties. I can't handle that shit. Okay, turn lights on. Okay, if there's one thing ghosts don't like is light. They fear light. So as long as I have light, I have no problem. Okay, grab cassette. Can I toss it in here? All right, enough. I don't want to get sued into the poor house. Uh, just books, books, books. Uh, oh, it's that book Dad wrote. Oh, our dad is an author. Okay, I didn't actually get this far when I recorded my first part. So let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Pick that up. Pick that up. Don't, don't disrespect the father for the love of God. Don't disrespect him. Uh, Terence L. Greenbrier, the accidental savior. November 21st, 1963, John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance, but who would believe him? Not just another James Bond, T.W. Wills, Mummy, a high-class political thriller, Nicholas Wolfe, removed. Oh, okay, uh, Mercury Books, uh, it's got a barcode there, I wonder if I could scan that. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Uh, okay, our dad was a novelist, but back, and of course we got a letter here. February 3rd, 1970. Oh, no, read. February 3rd, 1978. Terry! Hey, man, how you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi Fi Aficionado has too much review work to do. Wait. Has too much review work to go around, and he's looking for another freelance. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature and writing. Wait. And writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records and write up how it sounds and then get paid. I'm sorry if my reading is a little off. I'm just trying to process some of the words here because I, I can barely make them out half the time. I've included some issues of the magazine to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor and tell him you're an old colleague. Uh, what's that? Cenom Mike sent you. Is that Cenom? I guess. Yeah, Cenom Mike sent you. Here's the address, David Wearing, reviews editor, Hi-Fi Aficionado Magazine, 88 Downing Street, Suite 4, do it, Mike. Okay, well, Mike, Mike, who knows? Maybe we did do it. Dawn County, Pacalma County, and Wistaria County. Residents are strongly... Don't tell me there's going to be something scary underneath that. Probably. But anyway, let's look at all these VHS tapes. Yes, I grew up in the age of VHS tapes. I am that old. So what we have, the, Andro the Andromeda Strain, uh, Airplane Moonraker, is that supposed to be Walker? Hmm. No, Moonraker, uh, Beetlejuice, that's a real movie, Robocop, Blade Runner, Director's Cut, JFK, X-Files Season 1, X-Files, 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 more X-Files, jeez, you could really fit a lot of things on uh, VHS tapes. Uh, okay, so we have the Time Machine plus Clue, Fantastic Voyage, and Top Gun. Oh, Ghostbusters and Labyrinth. And I'm assuming these are all those nasty pirate copies. Don't do the piracy, don't do the piracy. Piracy is what I meant to say, don't do the piracy, kids. Open door, so where is it? Oh, okay, fine. Uh, do, 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 do. What's this? Let me add it. Let me add it. This this looks interesting. No, no. Let me see the book. The Northwest Weather Service reports high winds and torrential rain conditions affecting Wait, what? the following counties: Austin, the heaven at the edge of the world. Dawn County. Samantha Greenbrier, Grade Two Story. The Turtle People, Part One. 
Oh, look at the drawing there. Oh, God, no. Well, at least this is somewhat legible. Okay, Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean. It went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled. I thought we'd lost him at Horse Island, the first mate said. Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the deck of the, of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra. You're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no practice and your father were a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back. Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? The first mate yelled out. We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. Ah, oh, that was nice. Nice little short story. So is Samantha Greenbrier taking after her father as well? Little Sammy Sam? Maybe. Okay, more tapes. Uh, uh, 2001? And a dark crystal. And, of course, more piracy here. I mean, who didn't record TV shows from their VHS player or recorder? Oh, and... Oh! oh Jesus, okay. No wonder why we got a weather warning. It's, like, in treacherous out there. Nice greenery. Uh, we're recording for almost 30 minutes. So I'm going to wrap it up now once I've cleared this room. Okay, hauntings and... Oh, God, hauntings and poltergeist. Oh, you know this game's going to be spooky now. Uh, Leonard O'Rourke. Oh, Irish fella must be. Okay, find out the truth behind stories that were familiar even to our pagan ancestors. Discover how to tell a hoax from a genuine haunting. How to categorize, how to categorize and understand strange phenomena you may encounter. Learn the unhappy spirits... Or, sorry, learn about the unhappy spirits that share the earth with us. And what they can teach us about our connection with the natural world. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not. No, uh, actually, no. Don't, don't do that. I, I don't want to interact with any ghosties. Oh, pizza box, of course, nothing left. Okay, uh, anything else in here? Oh, grab button. Brat mobile. Nice. Anything else? No, just a few books. Grab mug, put back. Uh, and what's this? Read letter. David Waring, Hi Fi Aficionado magazine. Oh, yeah. D d uh, this is who we were recommended to. Eight, no, the 15th of the 8th, Hi, Terry. Enclosed, please find a Pioneer CLDD 703 unit with remote and cables. We need a half page review for October issue. So that gives you about two weeks to get us the copy for edit. Standard stuff like you've gave us on the CLDD 502. It's a combi player, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as later disc. And they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and tossing stuff for high end buyers. Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit, Dave. Oh! Okay, that was nice, but where is it? I'm guessing it might be in his study or his bedroom or wherever he keeps this kind of stuff. Grab matchbox. Why would we need this? Is this relevant? Is this pertinent? Can I start a fire? Will I need to start a fire? Who knows? Either way, I think that about does it for this video. Uh, let me just... Oh, 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 hold on. Crumpled note. Oh, come on. I can't read this. Uh, hold on. Okay. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm you. What's up? I just thought since you knew you could use a few friends. I don't have a lot of friends. Um, I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask something if you don't mind. Do you mind? No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho, or does it run? Oh, okay, clearly a little bully boy, and Sam crumpled it up. Oh, God, I feel bad for Sam. So, 
or uncle went crazy or something like that did he murder people or what or did he just go you know at Dulali who knows uh, let me check out this room real quick how big is it too big to check out oh, okay that will have to wait until the next video okay so I'm just about done here thank you Zeus for that thunder clap you you're not gonna get me with that I don't fall easily for thunder thunder doesn't really scare me I like thunder watch the lightning as it lights up the sky and you know it makes me feel good anyway God, guys enough rambling you know what to do if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course, as always, I will see you in the next one. So until the next time, see ya.